And welcome to the Tongue in the Trees channel. I'm Elizabeth Ashley and I understand that you want to know what is cedarwood essential oil good for? Well, you've come to the right place. I am professional aromatherapist with 30 years um, professional experience. I am the creator of 20 essential oil manuals and the co-creator of the Tongue in the Trees cards. Now, why am I showing you two? Well, there's an interesting question because there are, in fact, several different things that could be meant by cedarwood essential oil. So if you have bought yourself a bottle of cedarwood and now you go, I don't know what to do with this. The first thing I need you to do is to have a look on the label at the Latin name. So on this one, we can see it's on the front and on this one I don't it's so tiny you might not be able to see but it's on the back now this one is cedarwood atlas this is cedrus atlantica and this one is juniperus virginia so if you I put them that side <laughs> so if you have a look at that one you can see if you look at the Latin names, look, they're both from different trees. One's from a cedar tree, one's from a juniper tree, which is odd <laughs> because actually the actions are very, very similar, not quite the same. But please buy the juniper one. Now, it's not quite the same, but we're in a position at the moment where the uh, Atlas cedar wood is becoming endangered. And so we have, uh, as, as an industry, have established that the juniper doesn't smell quite the same. I have to say it doesn't. This is kind of sweeter. It does smell nicer. But this is still lovely. This is still lovely. It's more of a smoky uh, smell. And the, the properties are very, very similar. Not the same, but, but similar. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is solely talk about the physical properties of the oil. What do I mean by that? I mean... How will it affect this? Yeah. Now, as you can see by the cards, there's a keyword at the bottom, and that relates to how it affects the emotional body, the physical, uh, the uh, mental faculties, and the spiritual side. We're not going to look at that at all in the video, but if you bear with me until the end of the video, I'll tell you how to get to another video, which again is completely free, that goes a lot more into the different cedarwood oils and the differences and how we use them safely and the different ways that we use them, how you blend them, that kind of thing. So after we've talked about the physical properties, then I will show you how to get to that video. So let's start with Atlas cedarwood first. But if you look at the leaves, look, you can see that actually they're not even close to being the same. This one has like needles and this one has furry leaves, if you like. Very, very lovely. So the Atlas Cedar Word, I'm going to take this information from this book and when you go to the next video, I will give you information of how you can download this book for free. And this is my uh, most, this is kind of what made me famous, really, this book. Um, it's got a very good reputation and it tells you everything you need to know about aromatherapy, to be honest. So, Cedar Word Atlas. Historical successes of the essential have included bronchial, yeah. So if somebody has bronchitis or a chest infection, a phlegm, and they're, you know, <coughs> um, and particularly if you have a cough that's not productive, so you've got that, <coughs> and you know there's something there, but the rubbish isn't coming up. Cedarwood is fantastic. 
for that. Also, urinary tract infections and problems um, goes beautiful with um, Cyprus, for example. Cyprus is also extremely good for urinary tract infections. And what's interesting, if you think about what a cypress tree is like and what a cedarwood tree is like, then you can see that, oh, that kind of tree is very useful for those kind of conditions. And that's a, a, an interesting way of starting to learn about um, the tree oils. So breaks down mucus, as I've said, if you, <coughs> you know it's there, it's not coming up. And, you know, that really hurts after a while, doesn't it? Um, those people who follow my channels um, and read my books knows that, uh, know that um, lung medicine is what I do because I have poorly lungs. And you can guarantee if there is a chest infection to be had anywhere in Shropshire, I will find it. And I can tell you that this... <coughs> Oh, it starts to hurt after such a long time and all the intercostals become flared and all oh, pain, pain, pain. And it's and then it becomes very difficult to know where to start to treat. Do you treat the infection? Do you treat the phlegm? Do you treat the pain in the intercostals? Do you treat the fact that you're absolutely flipping miserable with this? So that's where you start. Mildly astringent. Um, so we talked a little bit in my Cyprus video about what astringent means because I think it's one of those words we talk about in aromatherapy that perhaps people outside of the industry don't know. So if you wash your face and then you put like a toner on your face, you can feel that the tissues tighten and it feels kind of dry and tight. And it's, you know, and you and the, the effect of that is that the, body, the, the face goes oh, and everything looks pert and it's beautiful for skincare. So cedarwood is not quite as astringent as cypress, but it is astringent. So if you haven't got um, particularly oily skin, if you've got the skin that's drier, but you still want that effect, you don't want to be using um, cypress on dry skin because it will just really feel dry. So cedarwood is a, a gentler um, alternative that will uh, tighten the skin. It's got this beautiful masculine fragrance. So it's very, very good for men's um, stuff. So if you're making a beard oil or a man's um, moisturiser or an aftershave balm, lovely. So nourishing to the skin, very soothing and calming and uh, astringent. So it will tighten. So we can, well, why not take 10 years off? We might take six months off each time you use it. So that's, that's worth having, isn't it? Um, acne. Very, very good uh, oil to use for acne, particularly as again, uh, as I say, for men, it is very much a man's oil. Not to say women can't use it because I use it a lot. But, um, you know, we look at them all. There's so many different oils that we can use and most of them are flowery, you know, or citrusy and they're kind of girly. And so if you've got like Kevin the teenager who's covered in acne, he's like, I'm not using that. That smells like Nan. Why are we using that? All right. All right. Let's get the... Uh... That doesn't smell like Nan, does it? No. That smells... Well, you're not going to say super sexy to a 16-year-old kid, but girls, it is. It's super sexy. So that's um, that's a definite selling feature. It will clean up all the, the grease. And, um, and of course, when you're cleaning off this coating of grease on top of the skin... It means that the, the uh, pores can breathe and you won't have so many clogs uh, on the skin as well. Um, what else? What else? Dandruff. Yes. If you, um, if you have got a bottle, go now and put two or three drops in your um, bottle of conditioner and in your shampoo and you will definitely start to see an improvement there um, or you could use it in a massage oil to just kind of lift uh, lift um, off my youngest son he has eczema and this is something that is quite common in kids with eczema that they have they kind of never grow out of well I used to call it cradle cap but I call it cradle crap it's <laughs> on the on the um, top of your head forever and ever amen so just a tiny little bit in some olive oil will lift that off and it is a very good oil generally for eczema and the 
those kind of skin conditions. A tonic for the entire body, yeah, I would agree with that, especially, um, again, we're talking men, you know, if, if tired, exhausted, too many hours at the office, just doing too much, stretch too many uh, ways, then yeah, it's a, oh, I feel more on top of it. It's, um, you know, Cedarwood's this lovely, beautiful, long, straight tree. And if you go back to Egyptian times, they uh, used it to make the temple doorways and the beautiful long pieces of wood to make their ships. It didn't grow, actually, Egypt doesn't have any natural trees, would you believe? So uh, the timber was imported from, uh, from um, Lebanon, cedars of Lebanon, to um, Egypt and it, it cost the country an enormous amount of money. But that strength, that long, straight sturdiness that's you kind of feel like that when you use cedarwood and in the next video we're going to talk more about that how it makes you feel how you can use it for emotional support how you can use it for mental health support because you know mental health isn't just well to use words bipolar depression anxiety all of those things that's not just it, is it? It's about feeling good, you know, feeling in charge, in control, not afraid, confident. And there is, honestly, I really don't think there are better uses for essential oil. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how we use that. We're also going to enter into some details about safety. So is it safe in pregnancy? Which one would be safe in pregnancy? Is it safe on children? Can I use it around my cats and dogs? How much do I use? How do I do that? Also, um, Gergle, who's the um, Gergle Halodi, who is the um, co-creator of the Tongue in the Trees cards. He, in, he's a Hungarian aromatherapist, very talented, and he uh, is a teacher. Um, he teaches in particular essential oil blending. So when it came to doing the notes for the next video, I kind of went physical stuff emotional stuff blending gag like into that <laughs> so you're getting um a fantastic teacher um one of the best in the world really to teach you about which oils should i put with that very very helpful not something i'm great at something he's tremendously good at so before we move on let's just have a look at cedarwood's virginian because as i say that's potentially might be the one that you have so they have very, very similar properties. Um, I would also say it's very good for regulating menstruation. So if you are, if you're trying for a baby and your cycle's out, then um, it's a great oil to, to use to try and get to that 28 days as close as you can or to 31, but a regular pattern. Very, very good for that. Um, and both of them very good for stress and tension um, but the Virginian I would um, say is better than the Atlas for muscle aches and pains you know if you've got tension in your muscles anybody who tells talks to you about the British School of Aromatherapy as opposed to the American or the French they'll tell, tell you that the French take the oils internally the um, American people like to use it in just uh, um, like rollerballs and that the British aromatherapists can't wait to get their hands on you. <laughs> I think that's probably true. We do massage as part of our qualification over here and cedarwood is fantastic for getting into the muscles. So if you can feel tension in your back, in fact, I would urge you to sit up for a moment and just think, right, what does my back feel like? Drop my shoulders down, relax my neck. Can I feel where I'm holding tension? And if you can, then cedarwood is fantastic. And in the next video, I'll talk to you about how I would use that and give you an opportunity to be able to get another video that gives you recipes and how to use those different things, as well as the safety. What else have I put? Yeah, so mus muscular aches and pains, especially resulting from exercise and training, seems to tone the muscles. So I put decongestant to the veins. So 
hemorrhoids and varicose veins so if, whether the vein is where the blood's pushing too much against the vein walls so you get this congestion um, then it helps to draw that away so also uh, what I haven't put in here is you know if you've got broken capillaries then that's very good you know if you've got redness against the skin then cedar would be wonderful but as I say hemorrhoids we're all <sighs> piles delicious things aren't they um wonderful for that and also um varicose veins and so i would urge you in particular if you're thinking of doing varicose veins please definitely look at the next video because we're going to look at safety and um one should not massage over varicose veins so how do we use it then so there's not enough time on this video um I was conscious that people wanted to know what cedarwood essential oil was good for and I needed to cover two oils to do that. So I'm going to urge you to click the link at the top of the description to come and learn more about the blending, the safety um, and how to use it. I will also um, give you access to three things, four things really. Um, how to buy the Tongs of the Trees cards. I'll tell you a little bit more about those and how you could buy those if you wanted to how to get this book for free but also i'm going to tell you about a third video if you want to which has got your recipes if i was going to treat hemorrhoids if i was going to treat uh, treat dandruff etc etc how would i go about doing it and i've put to, um, together some recipes and also i'll show you how to make those preparations but that's a third video you need to go to the second video to get that now I am a big believer in you should always go to an authority who knows what they're talking about to get more information so you I'm glad that you've come to me to talk about aromatherapy but as a woman who's knocking 50 YouTube's not my um my domain so I'm going to send you over to a man who really knows what he's talking about with YouTube. He's going to tell you how to like and subscribe and share and how to get notifications when Gagley or I upload new videos and that's my 10 year old son Dexter. So Dexter's going to tell you how to like and subscribe and in the meantime click the link and uh, we'll take you over to the better video that tells you more about the blending, the safety, the emotional side etc etc and more about the tongue in the trees. Cards, thank you for being with me and staying with me to the end and I hope to see you very soon. So I'm going to teach you how to um, like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you get your phone, you turn it this way up and then there's a little red subscribe button, turn it grey by clicking it. And then there's a little bell, click that and press all and at the bottom of your phone or tablet or computer it will say you will receive all notifications and then there's a little hand with a thumbs up, click that it will turn it blue and it says added to your liked videos and there will be comments and if you want to you can send a comment or and say like hi's to mum and gag like and then the link to the next video will be in the description below underneath the video so bye